So welcome back to another video here in Pennsylvania. Currently here at the Stony Valley Rail Trail here in northern Lebanon County at the gold mine end. Um, I was just here filming a video, an edible medicinal plant video on Colt's foot. Um, I knew some grew right there. But I think we might just go for a little walk here. Check some things out. Today is April 1st, April Fool's Day, but I think, of course, if you, if you hike you know, like four miles out this way, it takes to the abandoned ghost town of Roush Gap. I'm not going out that far today. It's already late in the day. It was raining earlier, but I'm gonna take advantage of the, this break and rain. It's just gonna rain for the next couple of days and I have to teach as well. But I think we're gonna walk up and head that way and check out the beaver pond, see how they're doing. I always like to check up on them every now and then. Looks like they've done some work since last time I've been here too. And when I say they, I mean the game commission. Looks like they put some new culverts in here across the trail. These are new. All right, we'll see if the beavers have been at work too. Maybe we'll just head up this way. Into the woods. I always just love walking through here. This is a hemlock forest. So shady in here. No thorns or briars or brush. Just got some vibrant green moss growing here and there. Down that way, the pond itself is up a little bit more yet. If it's still here, hopefully. And the dam, the beaver dams themselves. Not sure if we'll see any beavers. You know, come to think of it, I've never actually seen a beaver here. But the evidence for them is quite substantial. We'll see. Maybe we'll find a place to sit for a while. See if they come out. Because I know occasionally in the past I've st the dam has been damaged, either intentionally or by the game commission or someone else. Because these trees in here are all dead. Sometimes they make dams further down to the beavers. It, it is pretty mucky in there. I think the one dam is right up here. Yeah, I think the last time we filmed beavers were, was up in Tioga County. And I stopped at that one, uh, oh, I forget what it's called, the one marsh area. It was like, they had like a little lookout thing you could stand in. It, it, the big rainstorm came through. I don't know if you remember that. We saw some beaver activity. Yeah, so I think there are several dams right up here. I hear, I hear water flowing right up there, but there's a pond right up here. Try to be quiet. There's a whole bunch of dams here. Um, there's a bit of one right here. Let me zoom, it's not too substantial, but there's some blockage there. There's better examples here. Because there's a, there's a stream that flows into here called Evening Branch. So you have to have the water flowing out too. Oh yeah, here's another, here's one right here too. Going right across here. Yeah, up there, up there's the main one. I see it up there. We'll get up there soon. Not seeing any beaver chewing here in the banks. Let's go ahead and get up to that main area. Aren't these woods cool? It's just like a it's like you're in a deep, dark forest. I 
you know, a lot of times there's all kinds of other wildlife, like bird life here. I've seen eagles here before, ducks, all kinds of frogs and toads and salamanders. All right, so we're coming up on the main dam. You can see where they're chewing the bark off right there, that tree. Yeah, here you can see, this is the dam right here. Went up through there. Pretty cool. Just think, you know, an, an animal made this, or a group of them. The idea that they know how to do that is pretty awesome. Of course, it goes all the way across, so it's pretty substantial. It's always pretty awesome to be out here. Starting to hear more wildlife. There's a red-shouldered hawk. Some of the birds. The clouds are drifting down on the mountains. Even up there you can see how the fog, or the, the clouds are just falling down or lowering on, on top of the mountains up there. Let's keep going now. Beavers are active a lot during the, the morning and the evening. It's not even four o'clock right now. So, I mean, maybe they'll come out. Of course, I'm, I'm, I'm out here yapping and walking around, so who knows. But there's more uh, beaver. Look, they, uh, they chewed the bark off that tree. That's a big tree. So they've been up here and active. They chewed around this tree here. They do like the bark, especially that inner bark. Here's a tree, look at this one. They never finished, they never quite finished this one right here. They got through pretty far and then just gave up. And then this one, this is interesting. This looks like a recent one. See how they, they cut this one off. And all these chippings here, so the tree would have, uh, see what's interesting is you don't see the tree that landed here because they, they carted it off. They kind of nibbled it all away, smaller pieces, and carried it off. And we'll see more examples of that up here because once they drop it, they cut it into smaller pieces. But that's what all that is. So it must have fell and then they nibbled it into smaller pieces and it's gone. You can see another one here that they felled some time ago. There's where it is. Up here's another one. These are old ones. They cut this one down, dropped it, but they didn't cut this one in pieces. Probably the top part they did. But lots of beaver activity. There's another big tree they tried to... But you can see some of these, there's some smaller ones here too that they cut down. Some fresher ones. There's one right there. There's one right there. So some of these are just peeling the bark off. They're not always chewing the tree down. They're just getting at the bark. Oh, there's one right there. They cut, it fell down. It's all kind of cool to see all this. Because these beaver ponds create all types of new habitat for birds and animals. So it looks destructive, but it's a good thing. I genuinely miss this place. That's a chickadee. I keep hearing a red-shouldered hawk off in the distance too. They like these swampy areas. The red-shouldered hawks. And I heard a red-winged blackbird earlier too. There it is. It'd be super cool to see the beaver. Yeah, there's the hawk. I mean, I can hear it. 
I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up. Yeah, there's more beaver chews over here. I think I see it. I think there's another dam up here too. A bigger one actually. So they have a they have a whole series of them here in this valley. Yeah, so we're coming up to the main dam. Try to talk a little quieter here, but closer to the microphone. But I do see some ducks up in there too. Um, we'll try to get up to them without scaring them off, but right up here is the main dam, too. All right. You can kind of see like the little beaver trails, too, that they use. I'll walk up here, show you this. See, they make these little paths. You can see right here where they've been chewing off these trees here, and that one right there. Just gives them easy access to the water because they'll chew them off and then carry them off that way. They're more at home in the water than they are here on the land. I was trying to sneak up here as best we can. Oh yeah, beaver chew everywhere. Here's another one, older one. Flew off. Those are wood ducks. I can hear the sound of them. Yeah. All right. They saw me. I think that was inevitable. Big lumbering human trying to sneak up. But we'll try to. We'll still try to walk up here as quietly as we can. Here you can see the other dam. This one's a bit more significant. Oh, got some geese. Yes. Maybe they've seen me too. Oh, I do see some swimming duck out there. I'll try to zoom in on it. I just see the beaver lodge out there too. Oh, it's going. Whatever's out there is going to be behind the lodge soon. Where is it? There it is. What is that? I can toss far that I can zoom in. See it floating by. Ah, can't tell on the screen here. Wait for it to come to the other side. I believe there are some geese out there too. Yeah. That's the beaver lodge right there. That mound, that's where they live. I wonder if what we saw earlier was a goose too. Yeah, but to me this always seemed like a magical place to come out here. Like say with this hemlock forest. I think we'll we'll see. I'll, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna find a place to just sit for a while. I have my snacks. <laughs> I can eat some of those too. Let's see if we can find like a nice log or a rock to sit on. And just be quiet and see what shows up. Anyway, I haven't found a spot yet, but I just realized there's another beaver lodge up there. There's this one. I think this one's new when it's out there, but there's one, a nice decent sized one out there. So maybe we'll try to find a spot across from that big one up there. We'll see, or we'll see. Um, 
so I try to find a nice rock or a log to sit on. All right, so I found a spot. I'm just gonna chill out here for a little bit. See what I can find. I do see some other geese out there, but another beaver lodge is up that way with some other geese, so I'm just gonna relax here for a bit. See what shows up, if anything. So I've been sitting here for about almost half an hour now. No beavers, just the just the Canadian geese out there fussing up every now and then. But uh, I think in a little bit I'll get up, walk a little bit further down the edge of the pond. Can't stay here forever. <laughs> Although it might be nice. All right. I think I spotted a third beaver lodge over there. There's one big one behind those trees, and the one we saw earlier was out that way somewhere, but all right, we're gonna head on. I'm gonna keep going a little bit more. The, uh, you can see the rail trail right up there. And some relatively fresh beaver activity here. See them chipping away at that tree. Yes, I think the geese have seen me here. Um, let's just walk a little bit more up through here. Getting a little bit more scruffy through here. Yeah, wow. Here you get a good view of the, uh, what looks like the main beaver lodge out there. I'll zoom in. There's probably babies in there right now. But I don't see any adults. Cause like I said, usually they'll probably wait till the evening to come out. All right, but I think our time here Probably done, I think. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna head up back up to the rail trail, which is right up here. Gotta get home anyway, I forgot what I'm gonna eat tonight and stuff like that, but so let the beavers have their domain and the geese and the ducks and everybody else out there. Beautiful spot. Yeah, and right up here is the rail trail. There are, there are little trails that come down to the to the beaver pond. So, yeah, if you come if you come down the rail trail, we're a little ways down from the gate, but you know the pond is literally right there if you want to check it out. Yeah, beaver trapping is prohibited here. Yeah, it looks like someone put some uh, graffiti on that sign. Not, not too happy about the. They're calling. I guess. The guy who puts the sign there, they have his name there, Carl Rowe. They're calling it Carl Rowe's private beaver pond. Hey, I I agree with the fact that there should be no trapping here. It's a, it's a perfect, it's a beautiful place for people to come. You can park right up there and walk, to, especially if you can't, you know, walk too far and stuff like that. It's a beautiful place to come and to see the beaver activity. You don't always see beavers here, but... Otherwise, people will come here and like trap them out. So, anyway, just my opinion. And then just a little walk back to where I parked. But that'll be it then, folks. But thanks for coming along with me on this little, just little kind of a last minute idea to come out here. Like I said, I always enjoy. I haven't been up here for so for a little while. I was like just walk along the pond and. Checking up on my little, I almost feel like they're family out there. <laughs> Although I've never seen, actually seen them out there. I've seen beaver elsewhere, like I said, but I still feel, I just, this is one of the areas, this is the whole Stony Valley area. This is where it all started for me in a lot of ways. Like, like I said, kind of just feel attached to the place. But anyway, I gotta get home, figure out what I'm gonna eat. Maybe we'll make tomato soup and grilled cheese tonight. <laughs> all right, but thanks for coming along folks and hopefully we'll see you on the next one.